humanoids of planet zebra i introduce mike sicilian sicilian hello how are you doing today mike i'm i'm extremely cold yeah it's uh it's the dead of winter here we're in the center of antarctica doing a penguin on studies mike here is the uh super analyst of the board of Frost. Yes, I, I'm, I'm actually sent from uh, Scotland. Ah, the, the Board of Frost of Scotland. No, I just work there. I grew up in, in um, Montana. Oh, okay, okay. You yeah. know? I was, you know, a Scottish Montana accent. So Butte. Basically Butte, basically. Montana. Ah. People mispronounce it a lot. Butte. It's not butane? Sometimes they, well, I, I don't know. Can I say how they, they actually say it? Well, I don't think we have any Irish listeners, so go ahead. They, they usually say it, but, but Montana. But I'm from Butte. Beautiful. So working down here, yeah, we found a lot of different kinds of, um, what do you call them, penguins? Is that what, yeah, that's the, what humans call them. black and white things with the beaks. You know, the thing about a penguin, you know, we call it a penguin, right? Yeah. But, but that's not what it is, you know. Do they pronounce their name different in their native penguin tongue? Well, we don't really know what penguins are, you know. A penguin is, they it birds? is what it is, you know. But w what is it not? Um, well, it's not human. At least not as we define human. Hmm. You know, it is, it's essentially penguins are kind of unknowable creatures, much like most of the world, you know. I've never been. You can put a word on it, but you don't know what that is. You just know what the word is, you know. But I mean, these, these uh, aren't they classified as birds that don't fly? We do classify them as birds. In some ways, they're kind of like chickens. But I mean, what's a chicken, really? You know, it's a thing. It's like a penguin. With, it's it's like, people don't eat. Is it like a penguin? Well, I mean, you know, they both do breaststroke. They do. And sometimes they get strokes in their breasts. Oh, that's okay. That's why people don't eat them, because they like to... The, the chicken breast stroke. That's right. Strokes. That's right. That's right. So, and you guys tracked down uh, one, a penguin egg. It was a hundred-year-old egg. It was. It was. It was about. It was really a hundred and one years old. Ah. But we we didn't we didn't think that sounded as snappy, you know. Well, hundred one-year-old egg doesn't sound as cool. Hundred-year-old egg sounds cool. Ah. Uh, okay. They, they didn't want to confuse it with the Dalmatians or anything. No, no. There's 101 of those. And, and was the egg... There's only one egg. Was, was the egg open or was it sealed? Is there like a little crack in the shell? Was it like a fossil or was it just something that's still... It's alive. We're incubating it. Hmm. And we're going to see what comes out. We're betting on um, maybe like a monkey inside. Yeah, would make sense. Yeah. Not dollars, but cents. I could see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you know when it starts making dollars, though. Monkey eggs. Hmm. Very, 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 very good. Very, very nice. And um, so to get through to any point, which direction would you take it? To get to the dollars or the cents? You know, any uh, accountable attributes the one addict might use adjectives to describe? You know, I'm thinking about hooking the penguins up to computer screens and seeing what it does to them, you know? Hmm. You think they'll like that or they'll be able to tap into <coughs> some sort of new, like, I don't think we have a goddamn idea of what the penguins will think. Well, George, I don't know. But Every their skin does twitch in kind of weird ways. Like a twitchy, you ever seen a twitchy penguin? I've seen them, uh, you know, flutter and flounder, and, and I don't know if I've seen them twitch. I've seen them itch, but don't, aren't you afraid, that, like, feathers will get in the, the circuitry and cause fires? And They're very, you know, they use their little, their little, we like to call it the claw, but you might know it as their, um, like, fin or uh, sort of bird arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they use their little claws. Um, to sort of tap out words on the keyboard. Hmm. And are they speaking in the penguin language, or are they? Have you taught them uh, English uh, or? Uh, you know, Montanese? actually, their native language is um, French. 
Ah, strange. Um, it's a sort of weird French. Um, when they write it, they use, oddly enough, they use sort of like 13th century, uh, um, you know, kind of uh, Was this to do with like phrases? Uh, co- colonization or did the penguins pick out this language on their own? I think it was just ingrained. It's just actually in their genes. Ah. It's just, uh, yeah. Yeah. There was, no, there was no colonies at the time in Antarctica. So what's, what's the process? That came later. So, yeah. So the polar bears, you know, they speak the Japanese because of because of for that. obvious reasons. For obvious reasons, yeah. 